Great, great. I'm going to take this off for a few moments. Welcome, everyone, to Union County's 165th annual reorganization. And I think for the first time in that 165-year history, that we're beginning on time. So give yourselves a round of applause. And I know the governor is a very prompt individual, so we wanted to make sure that we got it on time. And this time is very valuable, just like all of yours. So. Uh, before we begin, I would like a moment of silence for all of our members and residents of our community have passed due to the pandemic and other reasons over this past year. Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to call up the Sheriff, uh, the Honorable Peter Corvelli, for the posting of the colors. Honor Guard, post the colors. And we'll now, for the Pledge of Allegiance, join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor Guard, dismissed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sheriff. Okay. Um, First on one of these that we've done outside in quite a while. So I appreciate the, the people that are here for our honorees. It's been quite a different year as we enter a new year uh, with hope and looking forward to uh, a better year to come. Um, obviously COVID-19 is the beginning and the end of everything that we've had over this past year. Uh, and I wanna talk a little bit about what Union County has done with respect to their great efforts governmentally. The first thing I want to give us some kudos to the Union County Democratic Committee uh, that I am helped with with Vice Chairwoman Linda Carter and Senator Joe Cryan. Uh, thank you for being here. Union County for the third year in a row. <laughs> Union County for the third year in a row, the highest vote plurality in the state of New Jersey. Despite our smaller size than some of our other bigger brothers and sisters, and uh, I don't want to call any of those other counties out, but third behind Essex and Hudson and moving forward. So give yourselves a great round of applause for a great year this year again. Um, it's, been a, uh, it's been quite a year, but the County of Union has responded. Our Freeholder Board, our board of now known as our Board of Commissioners has done an amazing job helping to respond to this pandemic, uh, led by a great administration and Ed Oatman and his great directors and our freeholder board, now our county commissioner board, they created a partnership with Kane University resulting in the state's first county-run COVID-19 drive-through center. Uh, we expanded that to mobile testing throughout this county. The county of Union has been responsive, has done a heck of a job. Give yourselves a round of applause, commissioners, freeholders, have done a great job this year. The county has worked with its partners to distribute nearly two million meals to those in need. The county distributed tens of millions of dollars in federal CARES Act funds, uh, and they've done an amazing job with all of that with only a 0% budget increase this year. Great job, freeholders, commissioners. Congratulations on that. So we've got a wonderful group of people. We're not going to stay out here that long, but I can tell you that it has been a pleasure to run uh, the Union County Democratic Committee for me this year. It's been a very challenging year for all of us, but with the good friends, with Senator Cryan and Vice Chair uh, Carter, we've brought this committee together. We're moving forward in a positive direction. Uh, Senator Cryan's staff and my staff helped with the county staff to help get that COVID testing center together. We had great staff on both sides helping to move this forward. So I do want to recognize some of our elected officials here today. I know I'll miss some, so I apologize before I do that. Obviously, you're going to hear from the governor in a few minutes. But Senator Joe Cryan is here from the 20th District. Senator. Uh, Assembly Minority Leader John Bramnick is here. <laughs> Assemblyman. Former Senator Ray Lesniak always here. Senator. My Vice Chair Linda Carter is here. And I know we have a couple of mayors. Outgoing Mayor uh, uh, Reverend Atkins is here. The former Mayor of Roselle just uh, moving on to the current Mayor of Roselle, Donald Shaw, Mayor Shaw. And of course, the mayor in Union County, Christian Bolwich. Thank you. 
So first, I'd like to call up Clara Fernandez for the certification of the county clerk's election. Clara, please come forward. Good morning and Happy New Year, everyone. <clears throat> so I, Clara Fernandez, Deputy County Clerk of Union County, State of New Jersey, do hereby certify that the following named person to wit Joanne Rajapi received the highest number of votes and was duly elected for a term of five years to the Office of County Clerk in and for the County of Union, New Jersey at the general election held on November 3rd, 2020. In witness thereof, I have hereon to set my hands and affix the seal of said office this Thursday of January, 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Clara. And before I call up uh, the county clerk to certify the remainder of the elections, I know Pat Giblin, the mayor of Cranford is here. Mayor, thanks for coming. Appreciate you being here. Next, I'd bring up the Honorable Joanne Rajapi, the Union County Clerk for the remainder of the certification. Thank you, Nick. Good afternoon, everyone, and Happy New Year. It's my pleasure to certify the election for the Sheriff of Union County. I, Joanne Rajapi, County Clerk of Union County, State of New Jersey, do hereby certify that the following named person to wit, Peter Corvelli, received the highest number of votes and was duly elected for a term of three years to the Office of Sheriff in and for the County of Union, New Jersey at the general election held on November 3rd, 2020. In witness whereof, I have hereunto to set my hand and affix the seal of the said office this third day of January, 2021. In addition, I'm very happy to read the certification for our three county commissioners. I, Joanne Rajapi, County Clerk of Union County, State of New Jersey, do hereby certify that the following named persons to wit, Christopher Hudak, Angela Garretson, Lourdes Leone, my glasses are fogging, excuse me, uh, received the highest number of votes and were duly elected to a term of three years for the office of member of the Board of County Commissioners in and for the County of Union, New Jersey at the general election held on November 3rd, 2020. In witness whereof, I have herein to set my hand and affix the seal of the said office this third day of January, 2020. Congratulations. Thank you, Joanne. I, I saw that uh, Assemblyman Jamel Holly just walked. Assemblyman, thank you for coming. So we are really honored to have the governor here today and he's just been doing a great job and really trying times, amazing. You know, there is no playbook for what we've been going through this year and uh, the governor and his staff have done an amazing job coordinating with the county and uh, our uh, county commissioner's board and helping us to get that uh, COVID testing and eventually hopefully the vaccinations on the way. And uh, I wanna say a few things about our, honor, our first honoree, Joanne Rajapi, the first woman county clerk in the 164 year history of Union County. Congratulations. She was elected clerk in 1995 and reelected in 2000, 2005, 2010, 2015, and 2020. She won by the largest plurality in recent history. Congratulations. She proved uh, She has not been left behind. Let me say a few things. Sometimes people stay in these offices too long, but Joanne Rajapi has changed with the times, has, in, has used innovation and technology in her office, and she's done a great job in this very, very trying year, helping and coordinating with us, with the Democratic Party, as well as with county government. I couldn't be more appreciative, and she hasn't been, she couldn't be more supportive. I appreciate everything you've done this year, Joanne, to help my job be easier. I know it's been a difficult year for all of us, but congratulations and thank you. With that, I will call up Joanne Rajapi and the Honorable Phil Murphy to do the swearing in honors. Governor over here. Yeah, how are you? you're gonna stand right here. Governor, you're gonna come over here. Right in front, Governor. You're gonna go over my glasses here. Switch we have. Switch the Yep, you come in here. Right in there. Perfect. 
come in, and then you're going to have this. Hold that. Put your left hand on the Bible. Raise your right hand. Everybody's going to move. There you go. Andrew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet, meet you. you. I state your name. I, Joanne Rajapi. Solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially and justly. Impartially and justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of. Of the office of. The Union County Clerk. The office of the Union County Clerk. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution, and the Constitution of, the state of, New Jersey, of the state of New Jersey, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, to the governments established in the United States and in this state, under the authority of the people. So help me God. Congratulations. God bless you. Congratulations. Well done. Want to get a team shot here? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Put you in the middle. All right. Looks like a kind of a one. All right. Here, one, two, three. Beautiful. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you, Governor. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be utilizing you a second. I want to thank uh, Joanne's son, Andrew Pappas, for holding the Bible, and thank you for being here today. Congratulations again, Madam Clerk. Next, I want to introduce to perform the swearing-in ceremony a good friend of mine and helping me in the legislature. Uh, he's not new to Trenton, but he is new to the Senate. Uh, he's helping me bring this party together, and that's what we're doing this year. We're moving forward. County government's been working in the right direction. The Governor, Senator Crying, and I have been moving forward, and we've been doing a I feel as though we've been working together and uh, helping the residents of the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd. I know John Brandon is here as well, and I want to thank him as well. Uh, our next person is Peter Corvelli, a resident of Kenilworth, is serving a second term and has more than 25 years, 27 years of decorated law enforcement. <laughs> Sheriff Corvelli has worked to continue all strategic law enforcement partnerships to provide effective primary and support services for the municipal government, for county and state agencies. He's enhanced the role of certified sheriff's officers trainers and assisted in recruiting and in-service instruction at the John Stamler Police Academy. Before his election as sheriff, Sheriff Corvelli served as the assistant director in the Union County Department of Corrections and also served as the director of custody at the Union County Juvenile Detention Center. Prior to joining the Union County Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Corvelli enjoyed a career spanning three decades in the Hillside Police Department. He earned numerous commendations and police awards for his meritorious service to Hillside, retiring in 2016. Congratulations, Sheriff. Please come forward. Senator Crime, please come forward. Whoever's holding the Bible can come right in front Come on in right in front of the, come on in right in front of this. Yep. Come on, right in front of here. See, you're all the way in the end. Go, 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 go. Come on. Ready, my friend? Let's get you all over here. Come on, Kelly. You look beautiful. A little more. Sure. Ready? When I say I, you say me. We good? I do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully, that I will faithfully impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all, the duties all the duties of the office of the Union County Sheriff, of the office of the Union County Sheriff according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will support. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. Of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear. And I will bear true faith and allegiance. True faith and true faith and allegiance to the same. To the same. To the government. To the government established. In the United States, in the United States, and in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people, so help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Here you go, Tom. Jim K. 
take it. Okay, thank you for everyone's cooperation. Wind was not cooperating there for a minute, but uh, we're moving on. Now, as our first ever county commissioner and former freeholder, and uh, I want to say we can credit this next honoree for the change in title. I honestly believe that we had already done it. Uh, the Senate had already passed the title change, but when freeholder Garrison had an opportunity to uh, talk to Governor Murphy, she brought that up to him and she helped us get that done. Uh, Commissioner Garrison, who lives in Hillside, has over 17 years of government experience, having served as a school board member, a councilwoman at large, and mayor of Hillside. She is serving in her second term as a county legislator. Commissioner Garrison is a longtime advocate for citizen engagement, economic stability, public safety, and social justice, health and education through intention, uh, intentional diversity, equity, and inclusion. Commissioner Garrison has served on various boards for Union County's committees, and during the COVID-19 pandemic, Commissioner Garrison with her colleagues established an innovative project involving the United Way and Amazon food distribution for municipalities and nonprofits. Former Freeholder and future Commissioner Garrison, we can thank her for her tough work on making the change to our title a more equitable way. I want to invite her up along with Governor Murphy to give the oath of office. Commissioner, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How cool is this, huh? We're here, man, which I love. Okay, you ready? I state your name. I, Angela Garrison. Solemnly swear. That I will faithfully, impartially and justly, perform all the duties of the office of Commissioner, Commissioner of the Union County, of the Union County Board, of County Board, of County Board of County Commissioners, according to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability so, help so help me God. I do further solemnly swear, further solemnly swear that, I the that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the United States and, the and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, of the state of New Jersey. And, that and that I will bear true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to the same. To the, to the governments established in the United States, in the United States and, in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people. So, help me God. so help me God. Congratulations, Thank you. 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 Th
In addition to that, he hails originally from the city of Linden and is a dear friend and has been a local leader and a helper to me for many, many years. His dad is a Superior Court judge right here in, in, in uh, these courthouses right behind us. He's a, a very smart young man. He's got a great future and I'm looking forward to getting him sworn in here. Uh, I want to bring up Senator Lesniak to my left and Commissioner Hudak and his family up here. Please come forward. Before I do that, I do have Assemblywoman Kehano here. Assemblywoman, thank you for being here from Elizabeth. And Commissioner Hudak, please come forward. Where is he? Up oh, there, there he is. is. Right here. Family right in front. Move out. Ready? Okay, Senator Lesniak. Okay. I state your name. I, Christopher Hudak. Solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will faithfully, I will faithfully impartially, impartially, and justly, and justly perform, all the duties perform all the duties of the Office of Commissioner of the, of County Commissioner, of the Union County Board of County Commissioners, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear that I will support that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. To the same. To the governments. To the governments. Established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys want to get in here for a picture real quick? Oh, just get Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next, we'll be having Mayor Bullwich come up and swear in our, our final new commissioner for today, Commissioner Lourdes Leon. Lourdes will become the only person elected as a freeholder who will never serve a day using that title. <laughs> She also holds another first. She will be the first Hispanic woman elected to the Board of Commissioners. <laughs> Commissioner Leone is a community activist, an award-winning educator and administrator, and has served more than 27 years in the Elizabeth School District. Born in Cuba, she, migra she immigrated to Elizabeth in 1971 with her parents. During the course of her career in the Elizabeth School District, she worked her way up from a teacher's aide to a vice principal, and finally, principal of the Donald Stewart Early Childhood Center, which she helped open in 2003. In 2004 through 2005, Commissioner Leone was the recipient of the Donald Stewart Strive for Excellence Educators Award in recognition of outstanding performance as an educator. As the principal of the Donald Stewart Early Education Center, Commissioner Leone developed and implemented schedules to maximize the effective use of staff and space prepare to manage the budget, and implemented the high school approach to active learning. Commissioner Leone also recruited, trained, and evaluated and assisted staff with curriculum development. She customized the curriculum and instruction for students. Commissioner Leone has special skills and experience enhanced, the, enhancing the instructional skills of students, teachers. And most importantly, she helped Mayor Bullwich every step of the way. She's helped us every step of the way. She's been a great friend to the Union County Democratic Committee over these many years. She did a great job in her first office, elected office. I'm really proud to have her join us on the Union County Board of Commissioners. Lourdes Leon, congratulations. <laughs> Lift your hand in the Bible, raise your right hand. Good to go. I state your name. Do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that, I will that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially and, justly and justly perform all the duties, perform all the duties of, the of the Office of Commissioner of the Union County Board of County Commissioners 
to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the state. To the government established in the United States. And in this state, under the authority of the people, so help me God. Congratulations. I think that's their problem. Yeah, it's hers. Thank you, Mayor. Please, another round of applause for all our elected officials. Congratulations on a great year. Before he runs off, I want to open the microphone to Governor Murphy to say a few words. The Honorable Governor Murphy, please come forward. Thank you, Nick, and thank you for being such a, a great leader and friend. To the leaders here on both sides of the aisle, uh, it's an honor to be with you. To, residents of Union County. This is a homecoming for me. I don't think I've missed this now in six or seven years, and I'm incredibly humbled and honored to be here. When an institution like Joanne reaches out and asks me to swear in, the, there's only one answer, and the answer is yes, Joanne. So I'm honored to stand with you as you get elected yet again. Um, Angela, it, it is true you walked up to Steve Sweeney, Joe Cryan, and me in a conversation and said, this title's getting really hard to, for me to bear. And, and govern, you, you, you have the same conversation the same day, in Hillside, I might add, uh, your hometown uh, with Craig Coughlin, and to the credit of the legislature on both sides of the aisle, uh, they turned on a dime, and that title is in the dustbin of history. God bless you for that. And also to Peter and Chris and Wardus, I wanted to make sure I witnessed history. Congratulations to each of you all and all of your families. Listen, again, this is a homecoming for me. I may live in Monmouth County, but Union County has been from moment one good to me, including when it was cold, dark, and lonely. Uh, whether it's politically or even more importantly, the way the government runs here, uh, you've got great mayors, including our host, Chris Bowich, great county commissioners, constitutional officers, uh, great representation in both chambers, on both sides of the aisle, John, uh, in, in, in the legislature. Uh, and I salute you all for that. We remain in the fight of our lives. Several thousand more cases today, uh, over 37,000 cases since March 4th in Union County alone, almost 1,400 losses of life from COVID-19. This remains with us. It is the fight of our lives. There is good news. There's light at the end of the tunnel, but we're not there yet. Uh, I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better, but it will get better. And I believe you can look out to sort of May, plus or minus, uh, to the time that I think we're going to be in a dramatically different place. Between now and then, please keep your guard up. Be safe. Protect your own health and protect the health of those around you. Alex and Rebecca, I wish I could say, but congratulations to you uh, taking chairmanship and vice chairmanship of the county commissioners. Nick, again, thank you for having me. To each and every one of you, Happy New Year, and God bless you all. Let's hear it again from uh, the governor of the state of New Jersey, Phil Murphy. Thank you, Governor, for being here. Okay. Okay, and to all the members of the family we, uh, that were here on behalf of the honorees today, thank you for being here. I know these are challenging times, a little colder than usual than we are inside, but uh, you, you, you bared with us and we were able to get a ceremonial uh, swearing in today. Many of the others have done it completely virtual, and today is also going to be uh, the balance of it will be virtually as well, but I, I was really proud to be able to organize this with the, the county administration, so thank you for that. Next is the 2021 reorganization, reorganizational meeting of the Union County Board of County Commissioners. Uh, with the conclusion of the installation ceremony, uh, I will call upon James Pelletieri to do the, uh, the officers. Mr. Clark. Thank you, Senator. Uh, at this time, it is my honor to call the reorganization meeting to order. 
by calling the roll call of the 2021 Union County Board of County Commissioners. Commissioner Angela Garrickson, present. Commissioner Sergio Granados. Here. Commissioner Christopher Hudak. Here. Commissioner Betty Jane Kowalski. Here. Commissioner Lourdes Leon. Here. Commissioner Alexander Mirabella. Present. Commissioner Kimberly Palmeri Muded. Here. Commissioner Andrea Staten. Here. And Commissioner Rebecca Williams. Here. Let the record show that there are nine commissioners present. And at this time, I invite all to join me in the prayer and the salute to the flag. Humbly, we ask God, the giver of peace and the lover of charity, to give the entire family of nations true agreement with his will, and to grant the light of his spirit on all who work for justice and peace. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time I will call, I mean I will uh, announce the Open Public Meetings Act compliance. This board wishes to announce that pursuant to the requirements of the New Jersey Statutes Annotated Title 10, Chapter 4, Section 10 of the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this reorganizational meeting of the 2021 Board of County Commissioners of the County of Union has been given by mailing to the newspapers and circulating within the County of Union who are designated to receive such notice and by posting the reorganizational meeting notice in the administration building and further by filing the reorganizational meeting notice with the office of the County Clerk. County Commissioners, at this time I would like to ask for a nomination for a Chairman Pro Tem of the Board of County Commissioners for the year 2021. Commissioner Hudak. It's my privilege to nominate uh, our friend, our colleague, and our, our the recent past pro chair, uh, pro temp, uh, County Commissioner BJ Kowalski. A motion was made by Commissioner Hudak to nominate Commissioner Kowalski as chairman pro tem. May I have a second? I have a second. Let the record show the motion to nominate Commissioner Kowalski was seconded by, I believe it was Commissioner Andrea Staten. Seeing no other nominations, I will call the roll. Commissioner Angela Garrison. Yes. Commissioner Sergio Granados. Aye. Commissioner Christopher Hudak. Aye. Commissioner Betty Jane Kowalski. Yes. Commissioner Lourdes Leon. Commissioner Alexander Mirabella. Aye. Commissioner Kimberly Palmeri Muded. Aye. Commissioner Andrea Staten. Yes. And Commissioner Rebecca Williams. Aye. Congratulations, Chairman Pro Tem Kowalski. Thank you, and uh, good afternoon to everyone. Thank you for joining us today in this challenging challenging year. Um, as chairman pro tem, it is my pleasure to call for a motion to nominate a chairman of the 2021 Union County Board of Chosen Commissioners, uh, Granada, or Chair, County Commissioner Granados. Well, I want to wish everyone a happy new year, and I believe for the second year in a row, I have the great honor and privilege to not only help bring forward somebody who was an amazing chairman, second to none in the state of New Jersey, but also will be a county commissioner chair, second to none in the state of New Jersey. Somebody who led us through troubling times during the pandemic, somebody who continues to lead this great county commissioner board in the right direction, and it is my true honor and true privilege for my brother, Al Mirabella. Thank you. motion was made by Commissioner Granados. May I have a second? Second. Seconded by uh, Commissioner yeah. Hudak. Yeah. Commissioner Hudak. Let the record show the motion to nominate Commissioner Mirabella was seconded by Commissioner Hudak. Seeing no other nominations, Clerk of the Board, would you please call the roll? Thank you, Commissioner. 
Commissioner Angela Garrison. Yes. Commissioner Sergio Granados. Aye. Commissioner Christopher Hudak. Commissioner Lourdes Leon. Aye. Commissioner Alexander Mirabella. Aye. Commissioner Kimberly Palmeri Mudad. Aye. Commissioner Andrea Staten. Aye. Commissioner Rebecca Williams. Aye. Chairman Pro Tem Kowalski. Yes. You have nine votes in the affirmative. And so, congratulations, Chairman Mirabella. It's my, it's my pleasure to say that to you again this year. Thank you for stepping up. And now I will call on Senator Scutari to administer the oath of office. Holding the Bible for Chairman Mirabella are his wife, Phyllis, son, Alexander, and daughter, Michaela. Thank you. Yep. Phyllis right next to Al. Kids over here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I state your name. I, Alexander Mirabella. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All of the duties, All of, the duties of, the of the office of chairman of, chairman of, the, Union County of the Union County Board of County Commissioners, Board of County Commissioners. According, to the best of my ability. according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear, I do further solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and the Constitution, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, the State of New Jersey, and that I will bear true faith, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same, to the governments established, to the governments established in the United States, in the United States, and in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. And Al's remarks, I know everybody's waiting for them, will be seen on the internet <laughs> right after this meeting that will be, continue to be televised. <laughs> I've already watched them once. They're fantastic. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. The Chairman Scateri equated my um, comments to the Magna Carta. Uh, they are 20 minutes long, but there's a lot to talk about in Union County. So I'm very proud of the effort. I'm thankful to the Board of Commissioners for uh, nominating me and voting for me to, uh, to be chairman this year and lead this great team. I appreciate all the work of the county employees, the administrator, County Manager Oatman, Deputy County Manager Wagner, all the fine directors that we have, and the partnerships we have with our municipalities can't be underestimated. We work well with our towns, we work well with our community, and we've been able to respond to this horrific COVID. But as the governor said, there's light at the end of the tunnel and there's bright days ahead for Union County and for New Jersey. That's the abbreviated version, Senator, but I appreciate your support. Thank you. Uh, my first uh, order of business is to call for a motion to nominate the Vice Chairman of the 2021 Union County Board of County Commissioners. May I have a motion for Vice Chair, Friol de Mudad. Thank you, Chair. Happy New Year. It is my utmost pleasure to nominate Commissioner Rebecca Williams for Vice Chair. I've worked with Rebecca over the past couple of years and have found her to be fair-minded, hardworking, and one of the most well-respected members of our community here in Union County. During this pandemic, she has stepped up in a tremendous way to assist all of our residents in whatever we have been able to do for them. And I know that they're all grateful as, as we are as well. So again, it is my pleasure to nominate my friend, Commissioner Rebecca Williams. May I have a second? Second, second. Kowalski. Uh, I got all a quarter. I said every time I use the term freeholder, we have to put a quarter in the jar. Commissioner Kowalski seconds. And uh, M Mr. Clark may have a roll call. Thank you, Chairman. Commissioner Angela Garrison. Yes. Commissioner Sergio Granados. Aye. Commissioner Christopher Hudak. Aye. Commissioner Lourdes Leon. Aye. Commissioner Kimberly Palmeri Muded. Aye. 
Commissioner Andrea Staten. Yes. Commissioner Rebecca Williams. Aye. Chairman Pro Tem Kowalski. Yes. And Chairman Mirabella. Aye. Chairman, you have nine votes in the affirmative. Congratulations, Vice Chair Williams. Please come forward. And joining Vice Chair will be her partner, Veronica Taylor. Okay. You stand right here. This is your microphone. Congratulations, Madam Vice Chair. Thank you. Repeat after me. I state your name. I, Rebecca Williams. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all, of the duties, all of the duties of the office of, of, the office of Vice, Chair Vice Chair of the Union County Board of, the Union County Board of, County, of County Commissioners, according to the best of my ability. I do further solemnly swear I do further and solemnly affirm, affirm that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution of, the of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and, I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and to, the same to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people. Congratulations. We got to work on these oaths of office. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Thank you so much for giving me this honor. And uh, Chairman Mirabel will close out the meeting. Uh, thank you, Senator. Before before I uh, add to a recess, I want to make sure I note that Gwen Ryan, the superintendent of the UCVTS, is here. Thank you, Gwen, for being here and your partnership. Appreciate my family. Okay, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this board will enter into a recess uh, to conduct the remaining portion of the reorganization meeting via Zoom. This meeting has been conducted, uh, its meeting remotely via Zoom since the onset of this pandemic and we felt this platform would be appropriate given this day. The most responsible way to conduct the remaining portion of our meeting and for the public to participate in this meeting in a safe and socially distanced manner. To that end, all comments that would have been made during the reorganization meeting have been pre-recorded and will be streamed via Facebook uh, on the county's official website and the Facebook page during the recess. With that said, I'd like to call for a motion to recess. Moved by Fielder Granado, second by Fielder Garretson. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. I got it. Thank you, Chairman. <laughs> Commissioner Angela Garretson. Commissioner Sergio Granados. Commissioner Christopher Hudak. Commissioner Lourdes Leon. Commissioner Kimberly Palmieri Muded. Commissioner Andrea Staten. Chairman Pro Tem Kowalski. Vice Chair Rebecca Williams and Chairman Alexander Mirabella. Chairman, we have nine votes in the affirmative. We are in recess. Hi, this is U.S. Senator Cory Booker. I'm so grateful for Union County to be able to share a few words with you, words of congratulations, words of thanks. This has been a trial of a year like we've never seen in our lifetime. And now more than ever, this is a day of celebration. As you all reorganize, it's an affirmation again of great leadership in Union County, servant leaders who are there to stand in the darkness, to be light workers, people that we need to help us to pull out of a year that was one of a pandemic, of an economic downturn, and a host of other challenges. Today is a day of celebration as we have a renewal of great leadership in Union County, and I want to thank them personally. Of course, I want to thank Peter Corvelli for being again a strong leader and our sheriff. I want to thank our clerk, Joanne Raja Peak, excuse me, Joanne, uh, for your leadership as clerk. And I want to thank the commissioners and celebrate them and their leadership. Hudak, Garretson, and Leon, thank you for stepping up in such extraordinarily important and significant roles. And of course, uh, it's nice uh, to see the incoming commissioner uh, chairman. Uh, thank you, Al Marabella and Vice Chair Williams. Thank you for taking on these incredibly important leadership roles. All of you in the collective, as well as the other servants of your county, uh, give such an affirmation to the truth of who we are. 
We are a people that make it through. We are Jersey strong because of the strength of leaders like you. This was a tough year, but I believe in 2021, we will continue to see the best of who we are. And I think that Union County will reap the harvest from the seeds that you all are planted, seeds of hope, seeds of promise, seeds of love. Thank you all for your commitment to community. Thank you for making our state greater. And I know with your help, we will see God's blessings in the new year. Thank you. Hello, this is Senator Bob Menendez. And while I wish I could be with you in person today, I'm pleased to join all of you in celebrating Union County's annual reorganization ceremony. Allow me to congratulate Commissioners Chris Udock, Angela Garretson on their reelection, and congratulate Commissioner-elect Lourdes Leon on her election victory. Let me also thank Chairman Alex Mirabella for his continued service and recognize former Commissioner Angel Estrada for his many years of service. I also want to congratulate County Clerk Joanne Rajapi and Sheriff Peter Corvelli on their reelection. And to all of you swearing an oath today, you do so at a time of extraordinary challenges. Union County has lost nearly 1,500 citizens to COVID-19. And like so many local governments across America, you have faced a one-two punch of soaring coronavirus response costs and plummeting tax revenues. That's why I continue to push for billions of dollars in fiscal relief for state and local governments who were left to shoulder this crisis largely on their own. The months ahead are gonna to be tough. The battle to rebuild our economy will be long. But as New Jersey's senior senator, I want you to know that I will always be your partner fighting for you in Washington. And I look forward to working with all of you to put this pandemic behind us and restore the promise of our economy here in Union County and throughout the great state of New Jersey. Thank you and best wishes. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be able to join all of you for the 2021 reorganization of Union County. 2020 has been a year we will all remember, but it's also one I'm sure we'd like to forget. The impact of COVID-19 has been substantial and has been felt throughout every community in our state. The Community Food Bank of New Jersey has projected that food insecurity in our state is going to increase by 56% due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Union County went to work by holding numerous emergency food distribution events to ensure that members of the communities being hit the hardest had food to put on their table. Our state's first COVID-19 testing site event was here in Union County. This government's expressed their commitment to the health and safety of the community and the response to this event has shown that. I want to recognize the efforts of State Senators Nick Scateri, Joe Krein, and Tom Kane for their steadfast commitment and hard work throughout this pandemic, not only to Union County, but to New Jersey as a whole. I want to congratulate Union County Sheriff Peter Corvelli and County Clerk Joanne Rapajoli for their successful re-election. It's a wonderful feeling to win re-election, and Union County voters express their approval for your hard work with their votes. Something really special is happening here in this county. This upcoming year, six of the nine county commissioners will be women, one of which, Lourdes Leone, will be the first Latina commissioner in the county's history. This is a major accomplishment and something we'd be proud of as women continue to break barriers in all forms of government and professions. It also signifies Union County's commitment to a diverse and progressive leadership that will help lead New Jersey into a better tomorrow. Despite the chaos of 2020 that has brought us all, Union County experienced a zero, I mean 0% tax increase this past year. This is a testament to the leadership of this county, and you should all be very proud of the hard work that you do. County government is a very special form of government, a form of government that can get things done. I held a job as freeholder director of my county government, a job that I loved because you can get a lot done by working together. Congratulations to everyone in Union County. I wish you the very best and a very prosperous new year. Hello, Union County. It's an honor and pleasure to join you for today's county reorganization meeting. For the first time in the state's history, a board of chosen commissioners will be sworn in. 
I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize Commissioner Angela Gerritsen for her efforts in leading that cause. I'd also be remiss if I didn't commend the tremendous leadership from Union County in the state legislature on both sides of the aisle. Union County has and continues to be a powerhouse in the halls of Trenton. You serve your constituents well, and I'm proud to call you my colleagues and my friends. I congratulate constitutional officers, Sheriff Peter Corvelli and County Clerk Joanne Rajopi on your reelection and today's swearing in. I also wanna to congratulate today's three commissioners, Commissioner Christopher Hudak and Angela Garrison on your swearing in, and the newest member, Commissioner Lourdes Leon. As your immediate neighbor to the South, I've long admired your stellar work and county operations. You're so darn good, in fact, that my son Craig and his wife left Middlesex County and bought a house in Cranford. More seriously, I wanna commend your incredible efforts this past year, particularly your stellar COVID testing operation and response, as well as your Herculean effort to collect and distribute foods to families in need. It's times like these that government needs to step up and you've answered the call. Union County should be proud. I know New Jersey is. I congratulate all of you on this special day and wish you success in the years ahead. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy 2021. Thank you, Governor Murphy, for administering the oath of office to me. You're doing a wonderful job of leading our state during this crisis, and I salute your efforts and many accomplishments and look forward to working with you in the years to come. I'm coming to you today in the age of Zoomcast, one way we stay connected now. I've learned a lot about how to do this in the past year, Basically, we need to be brief and smile, so I'll do my best to adhere to that. First, thanks to Union County Democratic Committee and Senator and Chairman Nick Scatari for renominating me to the position of County Clerk, and to my own Senator and Municipal Chairman Joe Cryan for his untiring support. And congratulations to my hardworking running mates, Sheriff Pete Corvelli, Commissioners Angela Garrison, Chris Hudak, and Lourdes Leon. To my staff, who did an incredible job during this global pandemic in maintaining statutory deadlines and conducting two unprecedented vote by mail elections, the first of their kind, your commitment and dedication is a model for all. Special thanks to my deputy, Clara Fernandez, election supervisors, Lisa Hugelmeyer and Alexa Rodriguez, and assistant Donna Connell, who went beyond the call of duty. Most importantly, I'm grateful to the voters of Union County who have supported me over the years and who overwhelmed and astounded me with their tremendous vote this past November, receiving a record number of votes for reelection. Thank you so much. This will be my sixth term as county clerk and altogether having served as a freeholder, county register, assistant secretary of state, mayor, council person and school board member, I will be starting my 46th year in government. I'm privileged to have the opportunity to serve you in such a rewarding and challenging way. I've also been blessed to have two sons who have followed me into public service and who share my vision that in giving back, we truly make a difference. Peter is a supervisor in the United States Patent and Trademark Office in Alexandria, Virginia, and Andrew is a sheriff's officer here in Union County. Their love and support and that of my lovely daughter-in-law, Jackie, and beautiful, smart grandchildren enrich my life a thousandfold. Please be assured that you have my commitment to serve you to the best of my ability with integrity and honesty. Thank you and God bless everyone. Good afternoon. I'd like to begin by saying that I am both honored and humbled to be reelected as the Sheriff of Union County. There are many individuals I'd like to thank which include Senator Scatari, the many volunteers who worked on the campaign, my running mates, we truly had a fantastic ticket from the top all the way down, and of course my family, my wife Kelly, 
and my two daughters, Alyssa and Riley. Without their support and encouragement, this would have been an impossibility. I'd like to thank the residents of Union County for placing their trust in me to continue to run an office with over 230 men and women dedicated to protecting and serving the residents of Union County. Lastly, a thank you to my mother and father who led by example in raising my sister and I, have instilled in us their work ethic, their determination, their dedication, and their desire to help others. This is my 28th year in law enforcement, and it has been by far one of the most challenging. As sheriff, I've worked to continue all strategic law enforcement partnerships to provide effective primary and support services for municipal, county, and state agencies. We've increased the efficiency of the Sheriff's Labor Assistance Program, or SLAP, and expanded the Sheriff's Project Lifesaver and CLEAR programs for residents in need. It is through the tireless work of the men and women in the office and their willingness to help others, whether it's managing a COVID testing site, lending a helping hand at a food distribution site, or providing further community outreach, like a drive-by birthday party for an individual who is shuttered down in their home, that I'm confident that we will all come out of this pandemic a stronger Union County. I would also like to say that although the last three years have been both challenging and rewarding, I also realize there is much more to be done. The office will continue a robust training program, educating our officers and providing them with the most up-to-date equipment and technology. I'll also reassure the residents of Union County that under my watch, the Union County Sheriff's Office will continue to serve our residents with the utmost respect and compassion and the office will continue to be transparent and be held accountable in every way. In closing, I would like to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and safe new year. Greetings and happy new year. My name is Angela Garretson, and I'm a member of Union County Board of Commissioners, and I'm so pleased to be here. I wanna first express my condolences to all who suffered any loss due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I congratulate my fellow running mates and candidates from each level of government. To all the voters of Union County, I appreciate each one of you. I express gratitude to my family, friends, and dignitaries whose support has been unwavering as we celebrate the occasion of my second term. I also extend a special thank you to Governor Phil Murphy for swearing me in as a chosen freeholder in 2018 and as a county commissioner in 2021. Proudly, the state law to change these county titles took effect on the first day of the new year, and New Jersey is no longer the last state to use the term coined when only white male landowners could hold public office. It is fitting that the governor joined Union County in person today to share this important moment because it was great county of Union that I engaged him to change the title from freeholder to commissioners. We gained support and formed an even stronger partnership that will impact generations of New Jerseyans through our efforts. The bold move reflects New Jersey's evolution on the historic issues of gender disparities and racial injustices that we faced. While 2020 will leave haunting memories, the year did produce unprecedented levels of global unity, worldwide calls for fairness, equity, and for a more just society. People of every political stripe, religion, creed, and color sent a message that public servants have a responsibility to act in ways that uphold human dignity and carry out policies that reflect and respect the collective interests of the human family. I urge us all to continue to take our cues from the people. As a member of the Union County Board of Commissioners, I recognize smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. My goal for this term is to leverage skills to tackle county issues such as economic stability and supply of critical resources that are important to the people we collectively represent. I will accomplish these goals by taking direct action and developing policy solutions driven by sound data and best practices. For residents and small businesses, my voice will continue to be heard in the corridors of power in Trenton and Washington, D.C. to make sure Union County gets what we deserve. In closing, please know that I value all of the help and encouragement that I receive as a leader 
It is truly a privilege to have your confidence and I will do my very best to continue to represent you well. Thanks again for your support and God bless. To the voters of Union County, thank you for again placing your trust in me to serve on the Board of County Commissioners. Thank you to our campaign staff and volunteers, Chairman Scatari, and my colleagues on this board. I also wish to express my love and appreciation for my wife, Terry, and our two children, Katie and Jackson. I simply can't do this without you. Nearly 10 years ago, and in this room, I took my first oath to serve on this board. A decade later, and through all types of adversity, natural disaster, economic downturn, I could not be prouder of our Union County government. There is literally no challenge we cannot overcome, a fact demonstrated by the global pandemic. The ongoing coronavirus emergency is a once in a century crisis. The pandemic has taken the lives of over 1,500 members of the Union County family and affected thousands more, strained our healthcare system, impacted how we live our day to day lives, and created severe economic hardship for too many. I am proud of our response. We have tested the sick, over 100,000 residents served. We have fed the hungry with over 2 million meals served at weekly distributions. And we've assisted local governments, businesses, and essential workers with millions of dollars of grants. And in the coming weeks and months, our team will vaccinate the residents of Union County. What is remarkable is that on March 15th, none of these programs existed. And I'm awed by the ingenuity of the women and men who serve Union County taxpayers. Time and time again, you've come up with creative solutions to address this crisis. As a county commissioner, you have my pledge to support you with policies and resources required to continue to make impactful change in our county under the direst of circumstances. So many of our citizens need assistance. Working together, we will meet the challenge, unlock new opportunities, and make sure the people of Union County have what they need to persevere and thrive. Again, thank you for the privilege to serve. In 2020, the governing body has a new name, the Union County Board of County Commissioners. This change better reflects Union County's diversity and inclusive nature. As a county commissioner, you have my commitment to keep Union County an amazing place to live for all residents. Let's get to work. Good afternoon. I am honored and humbled that the voters have placed their faith and trust in me to represent them at the county level. This is a responsibility that I will not take lightly and will endeavor to work for you with the utmost transparency, dedication, and assurance. I was born in Cuba and my family emigrated to Elizabeth in 1971, and we have called the city of Elizabeth our home ever since. I am extremely proud to be the first Hispanic woman to be elected to the Union County Board of County Commissioners. The past year tested everyone around the world as we were faced with an epidemic we knew nothing about. As I embarked on this campaign trail, I was very lucky to witness how Union County and its commissioners worked tirelessly and came to the aid of its residents with food distributions, a COVID-19 test site, among other numerous things that were done to help all the residents of Union County. There are so many great people that I have to thank for getting me here, but first I wanna thank my parents for all they've done for my brother and I, my entire family, and my best friend Maria, whom I dragged all over the place during this difficult campaign. Many thanks to Union County Chairman, Senator Nicholas Guterri, and Mayor Chris Bolwich, Tony Texera, Joseph and Nick from the Union County Democratic Committee for their unconditional support and guidance, all the volunteers who tirelessly worked to help achieve this accomplishment, as well as all the municipal chairs for their unending support. A big thank you to all my running mates who showed me the way and gave me much support throughout this journey. In closing, I want to again thank everyone for giving me the privilege and opportunity to serve and represent them. Muchísimas gracias. To our residents, our family of county employees and directors, and my colleagues on the Union County Board of County Commissioners, thank you for joining us today. Happy New Year. 2021 will be a better year. It has to be. 
It has been my highest honor to serve the people of Union County as chairman of the Freeholder Board in 2020. And I'm deeply honored to continue in this role under the new title, Chairman of the Union County Board of Commissioners. The change from freeholder to commissioner should not go unnoticed. New Jersey retired an old, outdated, and non-inclusive term and acquired a more appropriate, progressive title as commissioner. I thank my colleagues for re-nominating me. I'd also like to thank our Democratic Party Chairman, Senator Nick Scatari, for his confidence and his support. Senator Scatari is not only a leader in our county, but in the entire state of New Jersey. I appreciate his hard work, and on behalf of our residents, I value our friendship. I want to publicly thank Governor Murphy, not only for being with us earlier today, but for his outstanding leadership throughout this pandemic. His steady, confident leadership has protected our state and set us up for a path to put this pandemic behind us. I want to congratulate Clerk Joanne Rajapi, Sheriff Corvelli, and re-elected Commissioners Hudak and Garretson, as well as our newest colleague, Commissioner Leone. I'm looking forward to working with all of you in 2021, as well as Vice Chair Williams and Commissioners Granados, Kowalski, Palmieri Muded, and Staten. We have a great team in Union County. We begin with our hearts filled with hope and our minds set on overcoming the pandemic, which has impacted every aspect of life as we know it. This is the greatest public health crisis in more than a century, but we are now on the verge of defeating it. Our hearts go out to all those residents and loved ones that we lost, and we must continue to soldier on. I'd like to take a moment of silence for all those we lost due to COVID-19. Thank you. Union County was dealt a severe blow by the pandemic in every way, socially, economically, and physically. Yet we did what we always do when faced with tough times. We came together, we helped each other, and we healed each other, and now we must move forward. First, I'd like to thank the courageous efforts of the first responders, healthcare workers, and all the essential workers whose heroic efforts continue to inspire and help us through these times. Next, the residents of our great county stepped up. Elected officials, business owners, PBAs, church groups, all came to help our frontline workers, county employees, and students from local high schools and Kane University all came out to help with food distribution. I'd like to thank Kane University, starting with then President Farahi and continuing with President Repolet for allowing us to use their campus for COVID-19 drive up test center and providing so many other resources. Together, we created a unique one of a kind partnership with Kane that resulted in a drive through testing strategy. We have expanded this collaboration to include another first, on-site test results and opportunities for research and student employment. Special thanks to the Township of Union for being such gracious hosts, providing meals, security, and traffic assistance. On the county side, I'd like to acknowledge the extraordinary efforts of our Union County family, including the leadership efforts of my fellow commissioners, County Manager Ed Oatman, Deputy County Manager Amy Wagner, our team of directors, employees, all who stepped up in this emergency. Union County responded quickly and comprehensively to this pandemic and set a series of firsts. We were the first in the county to open a free COVID-19 test center in partnership with Kane University. We were the first to expand mobile testing into our community. We were the first to develop a unique partnership with Kane to develop drive-up testing. We've tested over 110,000 residents and continue these efforts in this new year. We followed up with free flu shots for our residents throughout the county as well. We have conducted door-to-door -door and phone outreach throughout the county, contacting tens of thousands of residents. We raised awareness about the importance of being tested and referred those in need to life-saving services.
Our contact tracers have reached out and assisted with outbreaks when they occurred. We were among the first to do countywide food distributions and have served nearly 2 million meals more than any other county in the state. As I have joined with my fellow commissioners at these events, it has been inspirational to see our county employees and our directors working together with community volunteers to distribute meals to those who need. We are on pace to distribute tens of millions of dollars in Federal CARES Act COVID relief funds to our municipalities, restaurant owners, nonprofits, small business, schools, libraries, and families in need of respite care and child care. It is important to note that we've accomplished all of the above and delivered a zero increase in our budget, but we can't stop there. To paraphrase a quote, the journey of a thousand miles that began with a single step now has an ending in sight. Vaccines are on the way, and Union County will once again play a leadership role in ensuring as many residents as possible are vaccinated. We are on the road to recovery. We are resilient, and we will be resurgent. With this in mind, this year our initiatives are called Union County Rising. First, let's address the rollout of vaccinations. Here's where we are. The County of Union is finalizing plans to make the COVID-19 vaccine available to our residents and is ready to begin vaccinations as soon as they arrive. Having administered COVID-19 tests throughout the County of Union, the infrastructure is in place to allow for a transition to a vaccination program immediately. We have purchased freezers and ancillary supplies to deliver the vaccines. Union County will be provided vaccinations according to the priorities established by the state of New Jersey. When mass vaccines are provided by the state, Union County will be ready. We urge all adult residents to get vaccinated. If we are to survive this pandemic, we face no more important challenge than educating our constituents on the importance of getting vaccinated. The county has set up a website at ucnj.org slash vaccination for those seeking medical information about the COVID-19 vaccines. While we await the delivery of mass vaccines, we will continue to test our residents for COVID-19, contact trace, distribute food to those in need, and conduct outreach. Our COVID-19 test center will be remaining open four days a week, and our mobile testing center will be out in our communities two days a week. Now that we've addressed our response to the pandemic, life needs to go on as it should. Union County will continue to deliver high quality services that our residents depend on. We had outlined a number of initiatives in the previous year that were disrupted by the pandemic, but now require our attention. This year, we will be completing many of them and adding new programming as well. We will begin with public safety. Last year, I asked the Department of Public Safety to begin work on the expansion of the Union County Regional Dispatch Center. This is an important shared service handling emergency calls for the county and many of our municipalities. Currently, the facility handles calls for 14 municipalities and two medical centers, along with six county and regional units. This saves our municipalities hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. We expect participation to grow. I'm happy to report the expansion will move forward this new year, and we anticipate the newly expanded facility to open at the end of this year. Second, we will repurpose the former juvenile detention center in Linden as a fire academy. I had the chance to visit this location recently. It is well suited for the educational and physical requirements necessary to train firefighters throughout our county. Our firefighters deserve a modern, updated facility to train so that they can protect our community. We are also going to reinvigorate an initiative called Union County Means Business for All. The pandemic has caused deep pain in our business community. Our partners at the Union County Economic Development Corporation have crafted programs that foster inclusion and will get folks back to work. 
The UCEDC has started taking applications for its VIP, Virtual Incubator Program. This is limited to minority and underserved populations. It's an online business training that will be coupled with support from UCEDC mentoring staff. They are looking to hold a special class just for Union County residents in late spring and early summer. Another new program is the Entrepreneurship as a Second Chance, ESC program, which will be held in April or May. This program will be for Union County registrants and the UCEDC is accepting applications now. The training will assist individuals explore new business ownership. There are a number of other loan programs, including the Open for Business Initiative, which is designed to help underserved small businesses stay open and save jobs. I strongly recommend residents and business owners go to ucedc.com. Another program we started last year is Project Fresh Start. This is inclusive and developed through the Human Services Department. It will provide mobile shower and laundry services to people in need and for the homeless and will roll out later this year. As the pandemic lingers, more pain is likely to come for residents, especially if the state's moratorium on evictions is allowed to expire in February. I've instructed Deputy County Manager Wagner to restart the Union County Foreclosure Task Force, which was created to help those in need after the financial crash in 2009. In its new form, the task force will also include tenants at risk of eviction. Under the Union County Means Business for All initiative, we have also developed new programs that reflect the value we place on inclusion and acceptance throughout all our county programs. First, I've asked the Office of LGBTQ Affairs to work with the National and New Jersey LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce to develop a virtual job fair for accepting businesses that value LGBTQ diversity in their workforce and offer affirming working environments where all are welcome. The culture of equality creates trust and innovation and fosters business growth. In line with this, we are working with the Union County EDC to develop an open for business, open for everyone, diversity and inclusion symposium for business owners, managers, and entrepreneurs. This will focus on internal policies and practices to create affirming work environments for employees, and best practices for being open for business to serve all people. Upon completion of the LGBTQ plus diversity and inclusion training, businesses will be invited to sign the Open for Business, Open for Everyone pledge and receive a window decal or sticker to post in their establishment. Although we expect all our parks to be safe, I have asked the Office of LGBTQ Affairs to work with our Parks Department to develop plans for a unique LGBTQ plus inclusive and welcoming space for all to enjoy at Cedarbrook Park in Plainfield. Our goal is to create a garden, trail, or reflection area in the park's extension at Stell Avenue. It is our intention to further evaluate and implement National Recreation and Parks Association inclusion program that prioritizes LGBTQ inclusion. As noted by the NRPA, true to the very philosophy of public parks and recreation is the idea that all people, no matter their gender identity or sexual orientation, have access to quality programs, facilities, places, and spaces that make their lives and communities great. Our Parks Department will continue to review what began last year as signage to our county parks to ensure that everyone feels at home and included. Work is ongoing in conjunction with the Department of Human Services to ensure ADA compliance countywide as well. The Parks Department as a whole will have a busy year moving forward with the new facilities and new programs. All throughout the pandemic, our residents sought parks and other outdoor spaces as a safe place to get out of their homes and enjoy a movie or some entertainment. We've been able to accomplish both throughout our drive-up movies and concerts. The concerts and movies have proven to be very popular, and I'm happy to announce that we will continue and resume this programming free of charge to our residents in the spring. 
This year, we open the following projects. First, work should be completed by summer on the newly renovated Ehrlich Pool in Rawway. We've installed a new pool, a spray element, and playgrounds for everyone to enjoy. Second, a new turf and baseball facility at Snyder Park in Berkeley Heights will open in the spring. Third, we've budgeted money for the construction of a new outdoor riding ring for those with disabilities at Watchung Stables. This ring should be completed by the end of the year. We have also expect to complete the master plan for the Clark Reservoir in the next few months. Through Senator Scatari's efforts, the county received a quarter of a million dollars in state funds that will be used for this reservoir, which sits off Lake Avenue in Clark. We are looking forward to making these improvements that will enhance the use of this reservoir by the public. Last year, we announced plans to transform the county property on Cushing Road into a working farm as part of a unique educational opportunity for those students at UC VTS in Scotch Plains. The farm will connect the campus with emerging trends in bioscience, sustainability, urban agriculture, and the farm to table economy. This project will move forward to fruition this year. And for the final part of our initiatives for this year, I've saved one of the most important. We anticipate the groundbreaking on one of Union County's largest and most important economic development projects ever, the construction of two county office buildings on West Grand Street in Elizabeth. The plan is to consolidate employees from the current administration building and several other leased facilities into these two new buildings. By financing through the Union County Improvement Authority and eliminating these leases, the county will save $120 million over 30 years. We'll work with our union labor partners where the construction will create dozens of new jobs as well. The project will be managed and financed through the UCIA and we expect completion in 2023. I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm proud of each county employee who in their own way enabled us to continue providing essential services while managing the challenges brought on by the pandemic, including testing, tracking, tracing, emergency food distribution, and CARES Act grant programs. I do want to highlight four county employees who continue to make a difference. Alex Chopatan, Sean Fawnin, Robert Charkowski, and Jess Cohen all stepped up in 2020. We are facing formidable challenges again this year, but I know together we will rise above it all. Together we can, we must, and we will get over the pandemic and move Union County forward. I'd also like to thank my family, my children, Alex and Michaela, and my wife Phyllis, who are my backbone. They provide me with so much help and inspiration, and I'll need it more than ever in this coming year. I love you all. I thank you all for watching today. I look forward to working with you all towards a healthier, safer, and more prosperous new year in Union County. May God bless you and this great county and nation.